Okay, so it looks all good in OBS that uh, we are, oh, of course there's the stupid commercial thing on Twitch. So I'm going to have to wait for that to go through. So I make sure that we're getting actual feedback from the uh, program. Make sure that the little uh, splash screen with my my uh, my, my uh, little logo thing is on there. And if that all checks out, then we can go ahead and start this uh, this uh, stream proper. So really, oh, there we go. So it's good to go. I've adjusted the audio a little bit. I uh, increased the audio a little bit, but decreased the sound of the uh, game by only about 5%. So hopefully this gives a better dynamic. I had a little bit of a hard time hearing in the midst of very, very loud music uh, during battle. Uh, what I was trying to say and try and convey in the last uh, stream. So, uh, looks like all the uh, the uh, all of the preliminary stuff is in order. So, without any further ado, let's get this started. I'm Grey Kids Angel, and welcome back to part three of Let's Stream Final Fantasy VIII. Let's go ahead and uh, pop over to the game. Now, in the last hour stream, we had gone to the fire caverns to uh, recruit the GF Ifrit. Uh, we managed to get him in under the 10 minute time frame that we set for ourselves. And the remainder of the game play was pretty much just leveling up, not really leveling up, but gaining the necessary AP to learn card on uh, Quetzalcoatl so that we can start carding monsters which we did a little bit in the fire caverns and then we jumped over to the garden and started playing triple triad or we got a very sh short introduction to the game uh... we battled three times the one little guy that runs around the main uh... common area the big kind of like uh... circular kind of main hub basically and uh, this guy right, he uh, right here and we pretty much won from him in just three times one fail one draw and one successful win uh, we were finally able to pick up the mini mock card which is apparently very very good this early on in the game you can see even though it's weak on its side defenses its offense and defense for the top and bottom of the card is stronger than Ifrit um, but it, it's really good so we're going to go ahead and, since we saved on that, we're going to go ahead and do some more uh, card battling. We're going to try to win uh, some Abyss Worms, and I think it's called an Elnoil, or an Elastoid, uh, and whatever else we manage to win in the process. After we have that, we'll head to the cafeteria, try to win the Quistis card, another rare card that you can only get uh, from the garden. Um, if we can manage to get those two things, then we're going to probably head out to the town, change the role, maybe play a little bit more cards to build the deck, and then we'll, time permitting, we'll probably jump into the uh, seed mission, or just right before it. So let's uh, stop wasting time and play some cards. Yes. So we're going to play. Now I know from this that that's a strong attacker, but I have to keep him defended from the center. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do mini mog. Ifrit. The bombs were decent. Let's see, what was another good one we had? Um. I guess that'll be fine and we'll jump over to uh Oh let's go with another uh that's pretty strong from the bottom. Alright, hopefully they go first. Excellent. Alright, I don't know what kind of card that is, some weird thing. So let's try We don't want Mog to be be taken advantage of, so we're gonna go ahead. And since he can't turn in for it, put him in the bottom corner. We're playing defensively here. 
Okay, so now what we need to do is try to do a few other things. So let's go ahead and jump over here and turn this card. Okay, so now that I know um, we're, we're drawn, we're at a tie right now, so I know that we can't be turned for mini mock here, so we're going to go ahead and turn that card. And since I, well, and I do believe we just won, because he can't turn our cards. I think Tetra Master in Final Fantasy IX does things a little bit differently, but we just won. So we're going to go ahead and jump over here. The last toys are really good, but Behemoth is too. So I think we're going to go ahead and grab this one just because I can see uh, between two sixes and a seven. It's a pretty good uh, right hand defender for the for the grid. So we're going to take that. I'm not going to jump back to every save point every single time that I win a battle, but the ones that, you know, the important cards, if I get real lucky with something, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to save. I definitely don't want to have to redo all that. Do another staggered save. I'm thinking, if we're lucky, half an hour worth of tri uh, triple triad should be enough. But you, you never know. I mean, we've got a fairly decent deck, so I think we'll be okay. So we want to jump over here, pick up um, an Elastoid, Minimog Ifrit, Bomb's pretty decent, and do the Bite Bug. Ooh, Tom, ooh, Marlboro. But Tom Berry is really good too. Now, we always want to start defensively so that he gets a chance to place something pretty much there. Okay. So, the Elastoid can be overturned by the Marlboro. So, what we're going to want to do is pop over here sacrifice our uh, bite bug to turn that card. Then he'll turn the Marlboro. Which cannot be... Uh, the bomb can't be turned uh, once we pop that over there. And since uh, we're going to win, we're going to go ahead... Oh, no, actually, you know what? Mini Mog can't be turned because the three and three cancel each other out. So here's another success. Now Tonberry is pretty good, but Marlboro is is all is also very good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a Marlboro. So you see, if you're defensive and you play the right cards in the right spot. Most people here at the garden probably aren't going to beat us, not too terribly. Um, so it's only you know a minute and a half, two minutes, and boom, you got another decent uh, card. Now we can try changing the roll to difference or diff, which essentially, if I'm not mistaken, will allow us to take the an amount of cards equivalent to the amount of number difference between our point scores. So if I win by seven and they win and they lose by four, I get three cards from them. So we'll do this and just uh, give it a shot. I think we want to go with a bomb. Ooh, what is that? I don't care about that card. So we're gonna again play defensively. Now this one, we're, we're kind of in a situation where if we play that, we can turn the Lich, I think that's what that is, but he'll almost certainly turn uh, 
but you know that's awesome. No, that will work. So let's try this. We're gonna go ahead and pop over there. He'll turn our elastoid. In turn. We're gonna turn him. He'll turn one of ours. I do believe we just came to a draw. Which is not something we had to worry about. So we came to a draw, big deal. So we'll simply play again. And let's try that again. Elastoid, bomb, Marlboro, Minimog, Ifrit. Ooh, that's an Elnoil right there, I can see it. See, now since we came in first, we're going to have to kind of play defensively. Since I can't turn that, I'm going to want to put... So essentially the bomb can't be turned if we put that there. And if we go ahead... They'll turn the Marlboro, but if we do this, that can't be turned either. If we go ahead and pop over here, and we win. Yes, we went the Ellen Oil. We want to try and get five of these cards. Uh, as I understand, before we leave for the seed mission. Um, I think they have something to do with something later on. I don't know. I think it has something to do with getting uh, Lionheart. Um, not something we're going to be trying to do, so it doesn't really affect us at all. Well, let's just see if we can't get another... Uh, Decent card out of him. And then I think we'll head out to Balam to see about changing the roll. Just so we get we build our deck a little bit faster. Or we can even try our hand again in the Quistus card. Alright, so boom, 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 boom. Excellent. He goes first. Drop Ifrit in the bottom right. Now We can be turned if we drop that there by Marlboro or that, but then we can also, we won't be, if he, if he drops that one weird thing over there, we won't be able to turn it, so let's go ahead and if they turn from the bottom. Let's just move that there, because that can't be turned. Now we're going to go ahead and pop that over there, since that can't be turned. Boom. We still win. That's another good one to take. Abyss Worm, that's really powerful. So we're going to go ahead and take that. That's that's we want at least five of those, I think, for whatever they refine into. We'll pop over there, fight him one more time. And then, since we got fairly decent, we're going to try the... No, I don't want to. No, no. Yes, we want to challenge him again. And if we're feeling brave, I guess we'll head out and try to get the uh, Quistus card. It might not be... What are they looking at? Eh... try this. That looks interesting. But again, 
We're doing we're doing defensive playing because we want to be able to take that. So the only thing they can actually nothing can turn the Elnoi over if we put that there. Alright, so seven, seven, nothing can take that. Still win on that one. Deathclaw, Blood Soul. I think we're gonna take the ones with blue because I think the blue ones are uh, they're rare as opposed to the white ones. So we'll just go ahead and take a Deathclaw just to build our deck because I'm sure they I'm sure they card uh, they they mod into something decent. Daring, we're going to head to the cafeteria. And it's either going to be good or bad. So, let's just see. I believe the person we want is this person? Unless there's a way to go over here. There is. Here we go. Person over here behind the plant. Okay. Right here. Oh, okay, the guy in the back. Yes. I thought I had to go around and talk to him, but I guess we have to talk to the guy on the right, or the left, and then talk to, and then fight the guy on the right. Okay, so we gotta kind of play this, play it smart. No quistus, which is fine, whatever. Goal here. Is to make it well, of course that gets turned. But then we're gonna pop over here and that can't be turned. Or at least it shouldn't be able to. Uh, I'm fairly certain if we put Mog up there, that can't be turned. And we win. Grand Mantis, Giant, Behemoth. Let's take a Behemoth since we don't have one. Let's play again. Yep. Quistus, I think, is a good card, so I don't quite know. Is that worth it? Seven on the... No, we got... No, we got a better card in the uh, Elastoid. Okay. If we play a card that's got seven, it can't be turned. Now that can only be turned by going down, but then it's going to get turned and turned. Which if we pop that there, that can't be turned. And we win. Now I'm sure that that's worth something, so take Biggs and Wedge, so that's a pretty decent card, I think. Although I think you can I think you win that after the uh, the seat exam. Uh, nah, 
we're gonna, we're gonna go save since we just uh, got what I thought is a fairly decent card to get. So I really don't want to, you know, risk having to reset if we fail when he does play Quistus. there's an easier way to jump back to the front here. Alright, save. Once we get the Quistus card, we're gonna head to Balam so that we can change the rule. Hopefully it sticks. Jump back here, just win a bunch of cards, and then I think we'll start the mission. I mean, it's not too bad. And to be quite honest, this is a little bit more fun than trying to spin, you know, a repetitive uh, nature of drawing from enemies over and over and over again. Alright, so we're going to pop in Ifrit, Minimog. They're pretty decent on the, uh, the uh, top triangle of uh, points. Let's try this. Oh, Quistus. So she can only be taken from the side. So we kind of have to be smart about this. We can succeed by overtaking from there. But if we do that, then... This is going to be a tough one. So what we have to do is we'll drop Oh thank god This is ours. And cards like that, the the rare cards, the face cards of the characters like uh, Quistus and Ifrit and uh, some other stuff like that. Pretty much any of the GF or the main character cards. If I'm not mistaken, and I might be, you can only win one. They're not going to keep playing them because they only—they're rare cards, essentially. Um, I've been told, or from what I can understand, if you turn those cards into items and you get rid of those cards, you can, in fact, I think later in the game, uh, win them back. But that's really not something we're going to be worrying about because at that point we're going to be overpowered and we don't have to worry about it. So now that we won the Quistus card, let's uh, head out to Balam, see if we can't change the rules. Come back here, win a couple more cards, and uh, go from there. A lot of the uh, PlayStation golden age of Final Fantasy kind of games had a lot of really good soundtracks. You know, just the peaceful melodies and other stuff that just kind of get stuck in your head after a while. I don't believe we can, uh... Yeah, because we already took the cure.
All right, we have to go to Balam, which is right over there. I'm gonna try to stay on the road. I think staying on the road prevents us from getting into battles. Don't quote me on that, I don't know for sure. All right, uh, I can't remember if there's a save point. There's a draw point. station and that's the queen of cards right there so we want to try and find a safe point uh, there's one in here if I know a second to the right maybe not up oh, there it is I don't know what it is, but this kind of uh, seaside town just always reminded me of uh, Chrono Cross for some re for some weird reason. All right, let's see if we can't get that rule changed, and then hop back over to Balam, or or not Balam, but the garden. I guess it's technically Balam Garden, so I guess it's not really too bad. It doesn't really matter which way you say it. Yes. Now we're not going to fight her. We're just going to see if we can set the rules. Okay. So the trade rule is um, different. So we're going to quit. And we want to go to the conductor here. And if it says different, then we're done. It's not done, so we gotta go back and talk to her again. Quit. And just keep doing it until it sticks. At least I hope I'm doing it correctly. Otherwise, this is just a waste of time. Ah, it's stuck. If I'm not mistaken, we play him again. It should say it should still say diff. Excellent. Now we head back to the garden and uh, get a lot more cards very quickly. Now, Quistus is, uh, you know, with the points being, you know, 1 through 9 and then A through F, I believe. Um, Quistus, the bottom value being an A, pretty much tops Minimog and Ifrit. Mm -hmm. So with that card from top on down, we can pretty much uh, turn most any card we can find early on in the game. So we should be pretty much unbeatable at this point. So now it's just about uh, building the deck so that when we get to this, uh, at the exam, we can, you know, not have to worry about needing decks uh, to build the deck and have cards. We can just go ahead straight into the next trick to gain all of our necessary uh, GF abilities. And then we can really start refining stuff and really start putting out a lot of damage. Oh, damn it.
I think we can also go to the library and uh, fight some people there to see what, which is actually what we're probably going to do right right here is uh, just see what kind of uh, cards we can get from them. Well, that's saved. Let's uh, take a drink of water because I'm thirsty. Okay. Let's see. Yep. It's so weird the way you have to press the uh, the D-pad in order to jump that around. It seemed it's really counterintuitive. Okay. I believe they're in the back. lady. Yes. See, there's the diff rule. That's exactly what we wanted to have uh, stick. So they go first. No, they can't turn Quistus. So boom. Then we're gonna pop on over. They can't turn Ifrin either. They can't turn Minimog. So now we get four cards, so we're going to go ahead and take the Blue Dragon, Blood Soul, Grat, and Beal. And there we go. Just got four cards. I think every three to five games. We'll go ahead and uh, save. There's a T Rex or that's good. Now, the the Quistus card can be turned by the T Rex R, so we're going to go ahead and play defensively here. Um, since it's fairly certain that Biggs and Wedge will be... Well, actually, yeah. I figured they'd do something like that. So we're going to go ahead and pop over here. Now, I believe we're going to come to a draw. Because I turn that, then he'll turn mine. So luckily, we don't lose anything. We just draw. A little bit too close of a call for that. Quistus. I think that Elastoid's good and Elnoil. Well, I guess that's fine. We'll try this again. Ooh, is that that's a red dragon, isn't it? And Quistus will not be able to be turned in the top left corner. And if we jump over here, 
Neither will be the last toyed. And neither will that. We pretty much dominated that one. That's right. Whenever you completely turn your opponent's cards, you win everything. So since we did pretty well on that one, I want to save. Also because we almost lost the second time we fought her because me in my uh, arrogance with my hubris decided, oh, I can't be touched. And well, I'm clearly mistaken. So we'll go ahead and uh, fight the guy at the front again, just because I know I can get a, the Abyss Worm from him. What did I have? The Elastoid. Boom, there we go. Tonberry would be nice to have. Alright, let's see here. Can't turn Quistus if I go there. Well, let's play defensively, see how that works out. Now they can in fact take the last toyed. they're gonna do. I'll pop back over here, drop that there, they'll go beneath me, which is okay because I'm gonna pop over here and turn that, and I win. We're gonna take the Tonberry, the abyss worm. I need four more. Nope. Alright, so play defensively. Technically I can take that now. So they can't Turn Quistus. Which is fine, because we're going to pop over here. Again, that's fine, because they can't turn that. And we come to a draw is better than nothing because they didn't have the cards I wanted. Is that King Tonberry? That would be good. Let's do defensive. That's alright. Play that there. Turn it. Turn it. 
turn it. Excellent. That is Tonberry King. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's a really good card, so we're going to save. Pretty sure. Odds are we're just going to be straight playing this the entire stream. And then next time we'll probably jump on over where we have to do the mission. It's pretty decent, but I want to hold on to that. So we're going to have it go. Oop, there's Elnoil, so we're going to have to play defensively. We have two cards that can turn that, so we're going to play defensively again. So we're going to pop on over. Nothing can turn those cards, so we're going to turn that there and turn it. Which is okay. Turn that card. At this point, we're going to jump over here and take that card. And take Ellen Oil. So we're gonna go ahead and take Grindel, the Himmel, another Ellen Oil, and Grand Mantis. So we've got two Ellen Oils now. We want three more, and four more Abyss Worms. I'm sorry, there's a bunch of back and forth saving, but I don't want to have to redo all this. I want to get through this part of the preliminary build-up for the overpowering and breaking the game early, so that we don't have to worry about doing needless training and other nonsense at a later point in time. I know I can go ahead and turn that first thing first, but they're not going to put something right underneath it. So we're going to go ahead and pop on over here. Do they have anything they can take an Elnoid? Yes, from the side. So we're going to go ahead and drop Quistus there, because she's a pretty good defender in that side. But nothing can take... There. Elnoil, Cactar, Triface, and GIM 47N. So there's our third Elnoil, if I'm even pronouncing it correctly. he's not giving us the abyss worm anymore so we'll probably have to go fight somebody else um, maybe they'll give us something I think you need 20 Elnoils Noyles to get Lionheart and I'm sorry I'm not I'm not gonna bother with it did before. Jump over there. Uh, 
that's all right. Pop over. Let's let's see if they don't try turning it. So we can't do a draw that time. doesn't give us a uh, Abyss Wormer, let's try. We'll go back to the cafeteria, I think. Try that. Well, there's an Ohnoi also. Let's go that route. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead... She can't be turned unless it's somebody with a 7 on the side, which they don't have. Another draw. It's better that than losing. Always better than that than losing. Because if we lose with the diff roll, we're going to lose hard. So it's sort of a double-edged sword. You you, you want to win and decimate your opponent, but if you're not careful... Let's try Elastroid and Elnoil this time. Alright. Now the Behemoth can take Quistus. Let's go ahead and lure them out into the open here. That's surprising. Premium makes Minimog untakeable. And we win because Quistus takes that card. Marlboro, Armaldo, yes. One more time. Toy. Excellent. That's what we want. Alright, let's see. Anything that's got a 7, the Elastoid does. So let's... Let's pop in over here and take... Nothing can take the Elastoid from the top corner there. Or the uh, El Noel. So let's go ahead and pop over. Alright, so that's out of the way. Nothing can take Quistus. Take that. They'll take that. And I'll take that. And I'll win again. Boom. Boom. And since he's not given the Abyss Worm out, we'll go ahead and play somebody else. Trick again. I mean, she's kind of dangerous. All right. Any 
anything from a seven? Nope, so we can go ahead and take that. Anything able to take a six? Nope, take that. Nothing can take the mini mog. And we're not going to have to worry about that, so we win. Take that. There we go. Try it one more time. But it's got a T-Rex or. So we want to hold off on the Quistus card until we know for a fact we're not going to lose it. So let's go ahead and take... Alright, so I know... Nothing's going to be able to take out an oil. Take Tonberry. And take the Anticondor. So we want that, that, that. Take another Blue Dragon. Get another Tonberry King. I guess we'll go take the the stronger uh, opponent on. The one that had the Quistus card in the cafeteria. I don't know. I've only gotten the one Abyss Worm. I wanted more. Save and take another sip of my water here. My apologies. All right, cafeteria it is. Quite sure if the people behind the counter there are play cards or if they're any good. Come on. <sighs> Not what I wanted. Well, I can pretty much guarantee that nothing's going to take Quistus by taking that top corner. And I know that by taking the bottom corner, nothing will take him. I know that I can take that without trouble. And we win. We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take two for that. There we go. Alright, come on. Eventually the rules will switch over to another type. I think at that point we just change them back to what we want. Gosh, not what I want. 
Oh, my son of a bitch. I miss I miscalculated that big time. That could have been bad. See, this is this is what happens if you're not paying attention. You can you can do pretty terrible. You can really screw yourself over if you're not paying attention. Do any one of these play cards? Let's see how tough the lunch lady is. Seven on top and bottom. Yeah. Not what I wanted. Dang it. Okay, anything with a seven on the side? No, so we'll take that. Obviously, nothing's going to be able to turn Mog. came to a draw. Alright, let's do it again. Come on. Give me something good. Oh, no. Ooh, what is that at the bottom? Can anything... Yes, something can turn Quistus. We want to stay away from that. Until it's been played. Actually, nothing can turn Quistus if I put her there. Same thing with Mog. Yeah, so that seven has to get out of the way if I wanna. So let's let's try and lure it out. Still win. Okay, take the last toid. Blitz. Blitz is really good. See if we can't win some more abyss worms from that that guy. So we only got the one. We need four more. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll give it to the end of the stream, and uh, in the next stream we'll go ahead and start progressing through the story a little bit till we get to the next area where we need to kind of take some time back to set things up so hopefully this kind of goes our way but you never know there's only so much luck in the world and the way that the uh, the law of odds works is somebody somewhere is getting extremely lucky and somebody somewhere else is getting shafted pretty hard Give me what I want. Dang it. 
Dang it. Ugh. Biggs can take Quistus. So we're going to have to avoid that. But nothing can take the Elnoil if I put it up there. Which is okay, because we're going to pop this over here and take Wedge. Which is okay, because we're going to take that. And we win. Snow Lion. These can be turned into Blazagas. So we want one of those for sure. And we'll go ahead and take that cause, just because it's got a blue on it, so we don't have that yet. What are we sitting at specifically for cards? Those can be turned into Quake. We need four Abyss Worms. Whatever we want there. Two more Elnoils. God, I wish they would just give me what I want already. But you know what they say, luck comes in threes, or bad news comes in threes, threes as well. I mean, this is probably the only few times I'm actually going to be spending a lot of time playing Triple Triad. It's just to get a, a good sized deck of cards. Um, we will have to play it a little bit after the seed mission to get what we want. Again, not what I want. Uh, nothing can take Quistus, but we'll just play it safe. up and can't take that, so but nothing can take Quista, so we'll go ahead and take that. And nothing can take Mog in that corner there. Alright, thank you. Ideally, if the opponent puts something in the corner there and you can turn it without it being able to be turned in and of itself, you pretty much can guarantee a win. Ugh, come on. The idea is we want him to block that corner one out. So what we want to do is put a 7 there, because nothing can turn it in that corner. The last toy can technically take Quistus, so we want to be careful on that, so we'll put the last toy there. Nothing will be able to take Minimog. And we win. Come on, you know you have an Abyss Worm you want to give me. So that so Quistus is in danger if we top you know pop over there. But nothing is in danger we put the elastoid over there. Now here's the difficult thing. Nothing can take the Elnoil if I put it there. 
So we want to pop over here, and we've succeeded in winning. a break here. Oh, there's Elnoil, so that's what we want. We want another one of those. Now, since nothing can take a six, we'll put Quistus there and take that one. It's nothing can take another six. Take the Elden Oil. Nothing can take Mog. And we still win because we, we're already two ahead. Oil and Armado. So it's not completely, you know, one more Elden Oil and we've got the ones that we need. But Abyss Worms. There's got to be an easy way to get them. can you do? What can you do? You gotta play the hands. You gotta play the hand you're dealt. You know, the cards, sometimes it's just not in it. Damn it. Come on. Nothing can turn Quistus. Turn Ellen Oil. Nothing can turn Minimog. And we win. Alright. If this next time doesn't get us an Abyss Worm, we're going somewhere else. Because we need that card. I mean, he's got Elden Oil, so I know I can definitely get an Elden Oil off of him. Because we need one more. Which we're going to get in this one. Because nothing can turn Quistus from the side. Although that Elden Oil can be turned there. But nothing can turn Minimog. If we pop him up there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn... I don't want to put Minimog there. We want to get... Uh... Well, let's see here. If... I turn that, it'll be four to six. He'll turn my mini mog. It'll be five to five. It'll come in a draw. If I put mini mog up there, it's a draw. Better than a loss, but damn you, old person, man, guard, reception person, curses. Pick up 
Come on. Nothing can turn Quistus. Okay. Nothing can turn Elanoil. Our motto will be turned. Minimog will not. I guess if I would have switched them, I could have won. Oh well. I think what I might do is I'll play the game. What I wanted to do is I didn't want to kind of train or do any kind of thing like this aside from the stream. So I might have to play a little bit of card game on my own to get what I want. Oh, excellent. So we're going to go ahead take that one. Minimog can't be turned. Another Tom Eric King. Go save. Oh, I just, oh my gosh. I just, I want that Abyss Worm. Maybe the guy running around will actually have it. We'll try him after we see about getting that last Elnoil. Come on. Anything can turn Quistus? No. And another flawless victory. Finish him. Cardality. give him one last shot because we're coming up on an hour and 15 worth of recording time and uh, if I don't get this then you know what I'm just going to go somewhere else Elanoil damn you well again nothing that can be turned Oh, let's see. Anything that can turn... Yep. So... We have to do it this way. I don't have much of a choice in that. But nothing can turn Mog, so that's good. Now, anything from the side... victory. Alright, dude. Last game. Give me what I want or I'm going elsewhere. I'll take my business to somebody else. I know I keep beating you, but you gotta be a little bit nicer to me. thought so. Oh! Abyss Worm! Ha ha! Thank you! I'm sorry I talked to you like that. I didn't mean it. Anything to turn? No. Excellent. You're mine. Your soul is mine. I don't know what is up with the Mortal Kombat thing right now. It's just... It's on my mind, I guess. Alright, here's the deal. If I turn the Ruby Dragon, he's gonna take my Mog. 
But then I'm going to take his thing and we're good to go. We're going to pop over here. Nothing can take me. And we win. This worm, Ruby, Oshu, and Sam, Sam Org, whatever it is. See, my patience was rewarded. Three abyss worms to go, and one Elnoil. So I know he'll he'll have them eventually. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna see about in the next 15 minutes. See about playing this full for a card game. And maybe we can get something good from him. So, so. Alright, nothing can take Quistus, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. And again, it looks like nothing can take the Elastoid. Nothing can take that once I turn it. And victory is ours. No, let's get rid of the blood soul and go with the triface. I think trifaces can turn into triple. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here. I'm gonna fight you again. Ochu, that's that's good. Nothing can turn Quistus, so that Death Claw is definitely not going anywhere. Nothing can turn Elastoid, so that's not going anywhere. And Elnoil can't be taken, so we have sweeped the board with him. So I guess he doesn't have really anything we really want. But if we can somehow get real fortune and real lucky and get exactly what we need now, we shouldn't have to do this maybe one or two more times to get one other card uh, that we want from uh, Balan, but we can't get that till after the seed test. So. I mean, we're, we've spent, what, hour and a half, maybe close to two hours, and we're almost where we need to be. <sighs> well, Snow Lion's not bad. I guess, I guess I can't complain there. Now, nothing can take Quistus. Pop over here, nothing can take the Elastoid. And Minimog can't be touched. Excellent. Alright. Elnoil, Abyss Worm. Both, if you've got them. Come on, dude. Damn it. Anything with... Oh, 
Quistus can be turned, so we have to be careful here. I think I want to go... All Noel can't be turned from here. And there goes Quistus' last op opposition. Still win. Come on. I know he's got the cards I need. I know you've got them. Thank you. Of course, nothing can turn it. Quist is safe. Alright. We want to turn this one. Nothing can turn it if we go here. And... Boom. We just swiped the floor of them. Swipe the floor. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Some things do get through that filter. Well, that makes... Well, we got another snow line, and we got a, a uh, our fifth Elnoil, oil, which is what we pretty much needed before we moved on. Uh, but we do need the Abyss Worms. I'm pretty sure the little tidbit of tips and tricks for this specifically mentioned you don't want to go on the seed exam without five abyss worms. Why? I have no clue. But we got three to go. Come on, dude. Just three more. That's all you gotta do. It's so easy. Shh. Just give in. Yes! Aha! Yes! 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 Now, Quistus can still be turned. So we have to play smart. I can pretty much take anything from the bottom with uh, the two cards I've got. So, Minimog can be safe by taking that. Now we're going to take since nothing can take that I'm going to go ahead and I think I want to I want to take this one because See, it's going to seem like it's unfair, but they can't take me from down here. So I still technically win. And I get to take the Abyss Worm, and we'll take uh, Snow Lion. So now we need two. Just two Abyss Worms. Two to go. Do that, and I think that will be in pretty good shape. I think what I'll do after that, if we manage to succeed in the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'll probably, uh, we're, pr we're pushing what I would consider the limit for what I want to record a stream for. I'll probably take a break and then pop back on in a little while. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Of course, now they're not going to give me what I want. Uh, 
And of course we gotta be careful. But not too careful, because now Gwistus can't be taken. In fact, neither can that. So take that, take that, take that. All right. Give me what I want already. Dang it. Well, last toy's not bad, so I guess I can't complain there. Oh, you damned fool. Thank you. Now let's see, nothing can take... Nothing can take Minimog. We'll come to a draw, which is better than nothing. Let's try something else. We're gonna leave and come back, see if that doesn't help. Maybe change the RNG a little bit. That little beginning thing reminds me of the, uh, little chocobo hot and cold stuff a little bit oh, just a little bit anything nope nothing can take her take that Come on. Just doesn't want to give me what I want. Dang you. Now, Quistus can still be taken, so we don't want to do that just yet. Still gonna win. Alright, we're gonna save. We're gonna do one more battle. If we're successful, we're successful. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're coming up in an hour, or we just, just hit an hour and a half, so... I don't know. On the one hand, I don't want to give up, but at the same time, I don't really want to do another 30 minutes of triple triad. We're, we're just, we're, how are, I think we have three? Three abyss worms. We need two more. I don't know, I just don't think he's going to give us what we want. Whoa, wait, back. It's 
Something just changed. Nothing can take Quistus from there. I think the rules just changed back. just changed. Alright. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I didn't want to have to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. So we're going to save. This is going to be the end for this stream. In my own time, I'll go back and I'll get the last two Abyss Worms. I'll reset the uh, the diff rule. Um, I'll come back, I'll get the last two, however long it takes me. And then I'll probably pop back on for another stream where we kind of make some more progress throughout the, the next section of the story. So, um, yep, that's, what, that's the plan. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Great Case Angel. You can expect this up on YouTube within a day or so after this uh, broadcast comes to an end, which is now. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for sticking through the Triple Triad video. I will see you on the next Let's Stream Final Fantasy VIII.